Hi, I'm Cheryl Jones from the Fairfax County Office of Elections, and I'm here to tell you how to complete your mail-in absentee ballot correctly to be sure your vote is counted. Your ballot will arrive in a mailer like this. It has your name on the front. It's, it has the Fairfax County logo on it. it. says official absentee ballot. Inside, you'll find instructions. You'll find an A envelope that contains your ballot. You'll find a request for assistance form. You'll need this if you need assistance in completing your ballot. You'll find a B envelope. It's a very important envelope. We'll talk about that in a minute. You'll also find a notice informing you if you are required to return um, an identification with your ballot when you return it. And you'll find a return mail or postage paid. So first, your instructions. Open them up and read them. Please read the instructions. If you would like the um, long version of the instructions, fully detailed, you can go to our website, fairfaxcounty.gov slash elections. The request for assistance form, you'll see, needs to be completed by your assistant. The assistant needs to sign it and put in his or her name and address. Envelope B is critical to making sure your ballot is counted. You'll see we've highlighted places that need to be completed. You need to put your name in, your, the address where you are registered to vote. You need to sign it. Now for this election, you do not need a witness's signature. Even though it still is highlighted, your ballot will still be counted if you don't have a witness signature. This is a special accommodation for COVID-19 uh, passed by the legislature. The instructions at the top tells you you don't need a witness signature. So now it's time to mark your ballot. You'll open, open the envelope. On the front, there are the three contests, President, Senate, and house. Your instructions reminding you to fill out the small oval next to your choice. It's best to use a dark pen, blue or black pen. We want to be sure that the voting machine can read your vote. Here are instructions showing you how to mark it. On the back, you'll see two constitutional amendments and bond issues. Here you just vote yes or no. The black lines around the outside of your ballot are an important part of your ballot. This is what is read by the digital scan voting machine so it knows that this is a, an official ballot. Many people ask, do we have to vote for everything? No, you only have to vote for what you want to vote for. If you just want to vote for president, that's fine. If you only want to vote for senator, that's fine. The re your ballot will still be counted. If you make a mistake on your ballot, that's okay. Send us an email at absenteevoting at fairfaxcounty.gov. That's absenteevoting, all one word, at fairfaxcounty.gov. And just explain that you've spoiled your ballot and you would like a replacement. We'll put, it, put one in the mail probably the next day. When you've completed your ballot, the ballot goes inside this B envelope. Ballot must be inside. This is by law. For us to count your ballot, the ballot must come back inside the B envelope. You must have your name. You must have your address. You must have signed it. Seal the envelope. This creates a secure envelope so that no one can see how you voted. This envelope isn't open until your ballot is accepted and then it's dropped, still folded, into a ballot box. We don't, there's no way we associate the voter with the votes and with the ballot. When you've completed your B envelope, put it inside your return mailer. It's postage paid. You can put it in the mailbox and send it back. You can also put it in um, drop boxes. They'll be located at all of the satellite 
early voting locations starting October 14, or you can bring it to the Government Center and put it in the drop box here at the early voting location. Now, if you needed assistance to completing your ballot, be sure that this form is filled out correctly with your assistant's name and signature and your signature if you're able to sign it. This also goes inside this envelope. Now, if you see on your return address label, ID required, be, you'll see it on this side. If it says ID required, then you need to read these instructions. This means this is the first time you're voting without having shown an ID, and you need to send us a photocopy of an ID. It doesn't have to be a photo ID, and this, these instructions will explain it. And again, that needs to go inside your mailer. Now it's time to return your ballot to us. You can drop it in the mail. It's a postage paid envelope. The envelope must be postmarked on or before election day to be counted. Or you can put it in a drop box. You can bring it to the government center, Fairfax County Government Center, and place it in the drop box at the in-person voting location. Or you can drop it at one of the satellite in-person voting locations after October 14 when these open. To find the locations of these uh, satellite locations, go to our website, fairfaxcounty.gov slash elections. Many people ask, are absentee ballots counted? Yes, we count every properly submitted absentee ballot. So for more information, go to our website, fairfaxcounty.gov slash elections, or you can email us at absenteevoting at fairfaxcounty.gov.